Thursday morning. We got Thursday and Friday off of school here. And we're sitting in this woods food plot. It's the least pressured spot on the farm. Um, it's super good. Yesterday it was 20 degrees warmer than today. There's barely no wind today. It's a little bit of a breeze, but we got good wind. It's northwest. It's blowing back behind me. Got a food plot right here. It's actually a horseshoe. And I got one right there. Um, this was before Domain was a partner with the channel, I guess. So this is just some Walmart $5 throw and grow. I'm going to quit talking and shut up. This video segment is brought to you by Domain Food Plot Seed. This is your land. surprised he didn't pass through or like come to the food plot just goes to show that they're you know starting to look for does it's pretty cool you know if that was a big bug that would have been hard to make it happen I think I maybe could have snuck an arrow somewhere but it would have definitely been hard fingers crossed it's about 10 o'clock. I'm going to start wrapping it up pretty soon. I haven't seen anything for a while. My dad hasn't seen anything yet either. So it's kind of dead. Not sure what's really up. But Alright guys. It's the following morning. I'm sure you just saw the clip from yesterday morning. We're in the same spot here. I've already seen two. It was two. It was like right when I got in. Seconds after, I swear to God. That's a big healthy one. It's um, October 17th, and we're in a box blind. Um, we're offering some radishes, some domain radishes, or brassicas. And, um, and a little bit of soybeans. There's not much left for soybeans. They've got them pretty much ate down. They kept them about this big the whole summer because there's no food around in this area. The radishes, they ate down to literally like this. They were up to my knees, and they're just starving out here. But... It's been raining and sleeting, but we got a little bit of snow on the ground. When I first snow the year that stuck. But hopefully we can make something out of nothing. I got in here around 3.30 I believe. And I just forgot to do an intro, it's like 4.50 right now. I got my pretty, he's hunting. Over on a section next to me. Same farm, just probably 300 yards away in the timber on the edge of a swamp. He's got two deer working my way. Hopefully they go into him because he's trying to shoot a doe. I'm down like 70 yards right now, but hopefully they work in the field because we're on another doe hunt tonight, I guess. My grandma wants a doe, so wants some meat. So I'm going to be quiet and hopefully get them the deer.
those don't really get me nervous, but that was really intense. Whew. You know, I was watching those fawns. They seem fine on their own. They really do. It's getting to the time of year. They're getting big. They're getting old. But, um, my grandma asked for some meat tonight. I'm happy to say that I accomplished that. I haven't taken a doe off of this property and I haven't shot a deer on this property since 2018. And it was a doe. So I'm a second deer here. But I heard her crash. Didn't go far. She was bleeding like crazy. Awesome. It's an awesome one. Alright guys, super awesome hunt tonight. Uh, she ended up coming back out. <clears throat> she was out for a little bit. She went back in because she got suspicious. She was still very on high alert. But it's the type of does you want to take out. You know, she's super smart. And it's hard because having them on the farm, you know, they, they do learn. They learn quick. But <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to harvest her. She's huge. She's going to feed really good. She's going to taste good. And probably one of the bigger does I've harvested actually. But I made a perfect shot. She ducked a little bit, but came out here and exited over here on the other side. But yeah, I'm super grateful, super thankful for everything. It was a, probably a quick episode for you guys, but yeah, it was awesome. And super soft. And I had Sophie out here with me, so that's pretty sweet. She got experience in, she didn't cry, so I'm proud of her. <laughs> but <clears throat> she tracked the whole thing pretty much. So yeah. It was a lot of fun. Definitely memories, that's for sure. So, thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll see you in episode three.